In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a historic photo collage similar to this one. The first thing that you should do is go to the MacArts website and find this section where it says Inspiration Artists. So we have Merv Oslislan and Guy Catling. And when you click these images, it takes you to their portfolios. So here's Merv. And if we just kind of scroll through her images, you can see what she does is take historic black and white photos and then cuts sections of them out and replaces them with images from nature. So a pretty interesting effect. And the other artist, Guy Catling, does something a little bit similar. Again, black and white historic photos, but he collages fabric, uh, floral fabric, over parts of them. And he doesn't limit himself to historic photos. He also uses modern photos. And here's some photos from some war scenes. And I like the way that he made this side of the pyramid a little darker so it looks three-dimensional. And you can click this little link right here and it takes you to his website. And he has more examples of those collages and also some of his other artwork on here. So, now that you know the look that we're going for, um, I have some other links on here for you. There are some historic images from National Geographic found. You don't have to use the ones here. You can find your own historic images. And here's some fabric designs from a website called Spoonflower. What I'd like you to do, though, is when you choose your images, make sure that you get the artist's name because I want you to give them credit in your um, slide photo portfolio on the slide. So at National Geographic found, I was looking through here and I like this image here. Now you cannot right click and save from this website, it doesn't work. So what I'm gonna do is use the snipping tool and I can't snip the whole screen, so I'm gonna get as much as I can and I will save this as Taj Mahal 1 and then I'll go back to the website and scroll down some more so I can get the rest of the image. I'll use the snipping tool grab it and save it as Taj Mahal 2. There we go. All right, now in Photoshop, I will open those images. So here's one and two, and I'm just going to splice them back together. So if I take this and I double click to get rid of the padlock, and I go to image canvas size. I'm going to push the top arrow so that the blank space goes at the bottom. And I'm going to change this from inches to percent and make it 200%. That might be too much, but I think that's in the ballpark. So now I'm going to push control zero on the keyboard so that this all fits on the screen. And I'm going to get Taj Mahal 2. Use the move tool and click and drag that over. Now I'm going to close this one and I'm going to put layer 1 underneath layer 0 and I'm just going to move this around until I get it all lined up. I'm going to take the zoom tool and get this That, that looks pretty good. All right, so control zero to make that fit on the screen. Then I'm gonna use the crop tool, draw a box around the part that I wanna keep, and hit enter. And I'm actually gonna merge these together, so I'm gonna click on layer zero and push control E. So now it's all one image. I will turn this black and white. 
so the adjustment layer button right here and I'm just gonna go with with the defaults I think it looks pretty good and I thought it would look pretty if these two women here who are very colorfully dressed were um, if I could see see them in color so I'm going to use the paintbrush set to black and I'll get a soft brush, maybe a number 27, and I will go ahead and cut through the layer mask right here and reveal the color of these two. I'm, I'm moving kind of fast because I don't want this video to be too long, but I expect you to do a slow, careful job on your on your project. Don't rush. Alright, so control zero to make that fit on the screen. Looks pretty good so far. So, um, let's see. So this only applies, the black and white only applies to the Taj Mahal photo. I'm going to hold down alt and when I get the overlapping circles I'm going to click. So now any other images that I put on here will be in color because they won't be affected by this filter. So I'm going to have something in this uh, pond right here. So I'm going to take the magnetic or the uh, polygonal lasso tool, and I'm just going to go around this. And push delete. Whoops, wrong layer. Push delete and control D to deselect. And the image that I chose to go in there was the echinaceas. So, uh, one of my photos. So I'm gonna click and drag this over. And it is, I'm gonna drag it underneath. It's way too big. So I'm gonna push control minus, minus, minus until I can see the edges of the image. And I already have auto select layer and show transform controls on so I can see the handles on the sides. So if I hold down shift and alt, I can shrink this evenly from all sides. So hold down shift now and then click the check mark, control zero to make that fit on the screen and then I'll move this around to where I think it looks good. All right, so the next step um, is to cut out the sky and I would do that with a combination of the polygonal lasso tool and the eraser but I already cut it out on this so to save myself time I'm gonna try to use this selection I'm on the right layer, hit delete. Right on. I wish it was always that easy. Okay, so for the sky, I decided to use a fabric pattern. So on this website right here called um, Spoonflower, I'm in the shop and I chose fabric, and you can actually narrow it down by color. So I want it to be blue like the sky, so I clicked that, and I looked through these really awesome patterns until I found one that I thought was pretty cool that would look really good with my image. So I clicked Quick Look and I wanted it to be a little larger so I pushed Control plus, 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 plus until I got a nice large version of it. Again this website will not allow you to um, right-click and, and copy or save. So I'm going to use the snipping tool and I'm going to grab this and I want to be really careful that I don't grab like this white line on the bottom or, or the gray part on the side. So I'll be as careful as I can. And um, I'm just going to copy this, go back and I'll click down here and go to edit, paste. Get the move tool, it up here in this corner. So 
um, it's not big enough. So what I'm going to do is, is center it right here. I'm going to hold down Alt and drag off a copy. And I want it to match up right here. So I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip, Horizontal. Then I'm going to get the magnifying glass and make, oops, make sure... Minus. Yeah, that actually looks pretty perfect. So I'm going to push Control E to merge these two together. But Control Zero, I still need a little bit right here. So I'm going to use the Move tool, click, hold down Alt, and click and drag that down. Uh, make sure it lines up. Yeah, okay, that lines up really well. So now I will um, click the top layer of the pattern and push Control E on the keyboard to merge those together. But it uh, covered up the pool, so I'm going to use the uh, marquee tool and just click and drag and box on that and push delete so I get my flowers back. Okay, that is um, pretty much the finished project. So make sure that you save that to your W drive and then use the snipping tool to make a copy to put onto your um, photo portfolio. And I would actually like you to make a series of three of these images. That's it for now.